Bonjour, friends, and happy French Friday to you. So I want to, first of all, apologize if I haven't gotten back to you uh, from the comments that you have left me. Uh, I apologize. I have been so busy unpacking and getting settled into our new home and also just working on projects around the house. And so that's what I'd like to share with you today is uh, one of the projects that we have recently worked on is our pantry door in our kitchen here. And so as you can see here, uh, we had a problem with uh, our pantry door hitting our refrigerator. Now this refrigerator was left here um, by the previous homeowners. And so when they purchased this refrigerator, it was not counter depth. And so it is a very large refrigerator and freezer and it sticks out uh, farther than the counters. So we decided to add a sliding barn door, but not just your typical barn door. We wanted something different and unique. And of course, with a French flair to it. So we definitely wanted it to be a French country uh, to go with our style here in our home. So I hope you enjoy the process of us working on this project. Okay, now my hubby, Mr. French Farmhouse, is unpacking our soft closing barn door track kit that we ordered from Amazon. Okay, while hubby was inside working, I went outside to start painting our door. I will be using Waverly chalk paint and I will be using this celery light green color along with this light blue in the crystal color. And I will be mixing those two together in a, in a container to get the desired paint color that I wanted. I will be painting this 36 inch door that we purchased from a home improvement store. Okay, so after painting, I wanted to add some glaze to this door, and so I'm using American Tradition Glaze in the raw umber color that I purchased from a home improvement store years ago, and it has lasted a very long time, so a little bit goes a long ways. And I love using this glaze. I've used it on many different projects, and it just kind of gives that aged look that I am desiring uh, on a lot of my furniture pieces, or uh, in this case, this door that we're doing, working on. So uh, here you can see uh, the difference between uh, where I've glazed and where I haven't. I actually didn't get it on video because it was getting dark outside on me and the lighting was not so good. So uh, at least here you can see though where the lighter part is versus the darker where I have glazed. Okay, now we are just adding the hardware to the door. And now we are attaching the French country wood panels that are from Antique Farmhouse onto our barn sliding door to give it that French country flair. And now we want to add a little bit more character 
old world style here, uh, adding some old antique hardware a handle that I purchased at a local antique shop here in California. And I was so happy uh, to find that because it just adds another touch of character to our door. After taking down the old door, that left us with some unwanted holes in the trim, which have been filled, sanded, and now I'm painting with our white color trim paint. And now that it's all done, it looks great and you'd never know the holes were even there. So here's another look at the before pantry and now the after pantry look. I'm just, we are so pleased with how this project has turned out. We hope that you enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you and I will see you in the next one. Until then, au revoir.